Hi guys, it's Billy again. Um, I'm now three weeks um, and a couple of days post-op um, from my pubic phalloplasty with Dr. Christopher in London. I didn't record bang on three weeks because I just didn't have time on Saturday. Um, but things are going really, really, really well. And um, the scar is like barely visible anymore. It's like um, crazy how much it's it's healed. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you actually. Uh, I'll try and try and sort it out now. Yeah, so I'll show you. I'll show you now. So that's my scar. Uh, it's looking really good, as you can see. Um, it's still quite swollen, so I'm living in joggers for now. Um, well, I say I'm living in joggers for now. Uh, the past two days I've been able to get these on, so that's a good start. Um, trying to think of what else to update on really. I've I've um, finished now. I'm finished now with the doctors. Uh, no more appointments. That's it. Done. Although I'm going to London to Harley Street to see Dr. Christopher. I think it's Dr. Christopher anyway. Um, I'm going to see him on Friday coming up. So what day are we on Tuesday? Yeah, three days time. So um, yeah, and providing all that goes well, um. I'm going to be returning to work next week. Well, to be honest, it sounds really bad, but even if he says I can't return to work next week, I'm kind of going to have to. I want to when I have to, so it's going to happen. Um, most of you probably think I'm totally nuts by doing that, but to be honest, I feel well in myself. I'm walking completely fine now. Um, I'm able to stand for longer and longer amounts of time each day. Um, I'm able to walk further, faster. I wouldn't say I'm quite running yet, but, um, you know, don't need to run anyway. Who runs? Um, good news is, um, I'm not sure if you can see, but my hair is wet, which means I've had a shower. Um, a 20 minute shower, which was like heaven. Um, and it's because, mainly because it's like all healed up now. It seems pretty closed um, along all the stitch lines and stuff like that. Even though I've still got stitches visible along the top of my penis and across where the hysterectomy was performed. Um, they seem like the skin underneath it is closed, so I'm just kind of waiting for the stitches to dissolve, really. Um, which is quite incredible for three weeks. I mean, I've seen other people's updates and they've had, um, like, parts of their um, cuts that have just not healed for some bizarre reason. Um, I honestly don't know why that would be. So, um, I guess, you know, I can count myself super mega lucky. Um, so yeah, that's all going really well. Healing's great. Um, also on Friday, actually, I'm going to fill you in on I'm having a pre-op appointment for a revision for my top surgery again. Um, I'm not sure if you can notice, but my nipples are uneven. Um, and it's something that I've been quite conscious about um, since it's been done. So um, basically, I've told the surgeon that I want them smaller. And if she can't even them out, then just remove this one. Because this one actually got damaged during the healing process last year. So um, yeah, that's, that's going to be the plan. I'm hoping to have that in possibly September or October, um, but it's going to have to be enough amount of time after this surgery, but enough amount of time before the next one, so we're cutting things quite fine. But it looks like, with any luck, I'm going to have a new uh, another two operations this year before Christmas. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that's the case, because I kind of just want to get things rolling now. Um, Dr. Christopher did say that by next Christmas I'll be complete, so obviously not this one, the one after, which is... Um, crazy to think about that um you know 11 years have been going down this road and there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel i never thought there would be an end to all of this but there will be and um i'm not quite sure how i feel about that it's quite um it's quite daunting i think because over half of my life so far has just been about transition and uh that's it's, it's crazy to think i've put so much time and effort into this and um you know it's it's just that's it, it's done, all the hard work's paid off, so um, yeah, I guess uh, you know we'll see how I feel next year when it's all done and stuff, and I'll probably make a YouTube update about how I feel and things like that, um, so yeah, I can't, can't really wait to get there, but um, I have come up with a couple ideas of what I'm going to do after I finish transitioning, um, it's just uh, sort of branching off from what I'm doing already, I'm just basically going to um, help trans guys in more ways than just talking to them online, um, I'm going to be starting up um, a little sort of like I'm going to become the middleman for packers because I've noticed that a lot of trans guys across the world can't seem to get their hands on packers um, for many reasons, um, whether it's a case of they literally can't afford to buy one or 
uh, they don't deliver to their country, or if they do, it's phenomenal postage. It's absolutely ridiculous when I've already done the calculations. It doesn't cost $40 to send uh, a tiny little prosthetic penis from America to, like, uh, Malta, for example. It doesn't cost that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be basically buying packers and posting them out to trans guys that need them. Um, but I won't be posting them just for the sake of it, so please, you know, I'm hoping that nobody takes advantage of the service. Um, but yeah, that's the road I'm going to go down, and if I can extend, then I'll extend to binders and things like that. Um, and maybe in the future to STPs, but you never know. So, um, that's the route I'm planning on going down. I don't ever plan on not identifying as transgender. Um, some people prefer to just identify as male, and that's that, and don't get me wrong, I am, I am male, but, um, I'll always... I'm proud to be transgender, and I'm proud of who I am, I'm proud of how far I've come, um, and I want to help other people be proud too. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of like, going to be my mission, I think, when I finished all this. But, um, yeah, as, as far as, um, you know, the recent surgery is concerned, there's not really much to report on right now. Um, I'm kind of hoping that after Friday's appointment, I can do a video update on Saturday and uh, fill you in on what goes on with that. Um, but I'm also going to be doing another video because since my surgery I've had many, 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 many questions um, in regards to my surgery and it seems to be that everyone's asking the same type of questions so I'm going to do a video uh, and I'll read out those questions and answer them for you on this video um, and with any luck that help a lot of you too. So uh, in the meantime, I'm going to let you go and um, I'll let you know how Friday goes. So thanks again for following my journey and uh, yeah, I'll see you Saturday. Bye.